and Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhachodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and peace and blessings. Shalom to the most highest, hopefully, elect across the four winds of the earth. It's so Brother Yagada Lamar from GMS Houston. And uh, the quick lesson I wanted to go to, and uh, it was based off of uh, one of the uh, Sakari members that uh, tried to take uh, Matthew 4 and 10, okay, when uh, Yahweh Shah was addressing Satan, okay, and when he told Satan to get thee behind me. All right, well, I'll grab the scripture first real quick before I get into the lesson, man. All right, uh, real quick, this is Matthew 4 and 10. It says, Then said Yahweh Shah unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. So they tried to take that scripture and justify teaching that we're not supposed to worship the have uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, okay, which just shows the level that they're on and how desperate they are to try to prove these certain points of their doctrine, which is off, man. Okay, so I just wanted to go through a few scriptures showing that, man, first of all, they don't even have a true understanding of worship, okay, and the things that Yahweh Shai is bringing, which is everything we need, is the salvation, deliverance, destruction unto our enemies, man, okay, he, he's well deserved and worthy of being worshipped, man, okay, so Lord willing, that's edification in this video. But uh, first, I want to start, uh, jump to the book of Psalms, chapter 149. And um, I'm going to start at verse 4. I'll read to the end of the verse, chapter, so like it. It says, uh, this is a psalm, book of Psalm, chapter 149 and verse 4. It says, for the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, and he will beautify the meek with salvation. So is Yahweh personally going to come down here and deliver us? No. He's sending his son in full glory, all right, in power, all right to handle business, man, okay? To make war with the nations, okay? Take down all the nations, okay? And deliver the elect, man, okay? So obviously the Lord is putting a heavy uh, responsibility into uh, Yahweh Shai's hands, man, okay? He, he literally put everything on the back of Yahweh Shai, man, and that's straight out of the scriptures, man, okay? We're reading on, it says, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud, upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh bear their mouth and the two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Okay? Now, can we on our own uh, take down the nations? All right? Take down the elites? All right? No, man. All right? It's gonna have, we're gonna have to wait on Yahweh Shai to return in order to do that, man. Okay? So uh, reading the next verse, it says to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Now, we know the thermonuclear destruction is going to happen, man. And the only ones that's going to be remaining of the heathen is the upper echelon, man. Okay? So in order for us to be able to fulfill this, to put their uh, kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, okay, that's going to have to happen through Yahweh Shah returning, man. Okay? So like I said before, man, all right, and the scriptures tell you over and over, he's more than worthy of being worshipped, man. Okay, are we saying that we worship him above the heavenly father? No, man, there's order, of course. Okay, but Yahweh Shai is to be worshipped, man. Okay, because he's bringing salvation to us, man. Okay, and that's the way his father set it up, man. Okay, we'll finish out this last verse. It says, to execute upon them the judgment written. So whose judgment is? We know this is Yahweh's judgment, man. All right, but he's chosen his son, all right, his only begotten son, to come and, and, and execute his judgment, man. Okay? So you think that he don't want his son to be worshipped? All right? It says, this honor have all his saints praise you the Lord. Now I want to jump, okay? Cause it's that, and that's the solution to all our problems, man. Okay? You got all these uh, debates and black conscious guys, all right, trying to come up with all this. We need to come together. We need to start schools and all this madness. No, we need Yahweh Shah to return and deliver us, man. Okay? That's what we need. Okay? So, uh, this is Revelation chapter 19 and starting in verse 11. It says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness does judge and make war. And that's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? 
were turning into that, uh, in that huge chariot, man. All right. It says his eyes were as flames of fire and on his head were many crowns. So what does that mean? He on his head were many crowns, man. He's not only taking down Esau, but he's going to take out all the other nations that have power in the earth, man. Okay. So we can reign uh, 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 completely uh, uh, under him on the earth, man. Okay. You claiming that we're not supposed to worship Yahweh Shai, but the Lord is setting him up. The Most High is setting him up to uh, have complete uh, reign over the kingdom, man. Okay, so we're not going to worship the highest ranking authority in, over the kingdom of heaven. Okay, under Yahweh. It says, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name was called the word of Yahweh. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. So who was those armies, man? Those were the angels, man. man. All right, those innumerable amount of uh, uh, chariots that's going to uh, blot out the sun, man, that's going to be following you, Howard Shai, man. He's leading the charge on every single thing that we need, man. As of right now, he's the only way that we can uh, even pray unto the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? But we're not supposed to worship him. Let's get uh, get to the book of Hebrews, which y'all uh, uh, trying to take uh, out, okay? And see what the Most High had to say, man, okay, concerning his son. All right, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 1, and let me get, trying to get straight to the point. It says, uh, I'll start at verse 3. This is Hebrews 1 and 3, it says, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of, of his person and beholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, who did that? Yahweh was shy. All right, we wouldn't even have a chance at salvation. All right, we wouldn't even be back under the fold and under the promise if it wasn't for Yahweh was shy, man. Okay, it says, and sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Okay, this is Yahweh was shy. All right, it says being made so much better than the angels. So he was made better than the angels, man. Okay, as he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they, man. Okay, all right, his status, his rank is more excellent than all the angels, man. Okay, all right, but we're not supposed to worship him, huh? All right, it says, uh, verse five, it says, for unto, unto which of the angels said he at any time, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son. All right, no other angel received that man, that title man, okay? As the only begotten son, all right? It says, and again, when he bring it, the first begotten into the world, and he said, and let all the angels of Yahweh worship him. So the Lord himself, the most high power himself commanded the angels to worship Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. So you, it, it's nothing. We, I, we don't have to go into a million scriptures to break it down. Man, the most high wants us to worship his only begotten son, man. And he's well deserved of it, man. Okay. And it's going to be a shameful thing in the kingdom to, to uh, know that you thought you taught that this man was not all right, uh, 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 not supposed to be worshipped, man. Okay, when he is our very salvation, man. He is the word of the Most High, man. All right? So that's it. I just wanted to go into that briefly. Lord willing, it was edifying. But once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechach Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings, Shalom, to the Most High's elect.